Hello, my beautiful fam. It is Perez Hilton. It is a new week. Thank you for watching. So much to get to today, including some craziness with Kim Kardashian, Shayna Mokler, and Travis Barker, plus talking Joe Exotic, Tiger King, Katie Holmes, Ricky Schroeder, the Friends Reunion, and more. But first, literally a moment before I began this video, my youngest child did it. The same exact thing that her sister did around the same age. So I'm gonna treat myself to a nice ginger ale because I just wanna have a drink. What is it, you may be asking? My son was doing a project and my three-year-old got her brother's child scissors and cut her hair. What a great way to start the week. Thankfully, it was just a little bit and it was not the bangs, but still. I'm glad that it happened as she had her hair up and I'm glad that it happened so that hopefully she's not like her sister who cut her hair herself more than once. This is actually delicious. Mm. Ah. All right, let's get right to it because there's a lot to dive into. Over the weekend, the dam broke loose and everybody was very public with their private family matters. That's a great way of putting it. To recap, I'm sure you all know by now if you're watching me, that Travis Barker is dating Kim Kardashian's sister, Kourtney Kardashian. Travis Barker has two teenage children, 17-year-old son, Landon, and a 15-year-old daughter, Alabama. The children took to social media over the weekend to claim that their mother, Shayna Mokler, whom some of you might know from the reality show that Travis and Shayna had way back in the day, I believe it was on MTV, the children claim that Shayna is an absentee mom and she responds, but first let me read to you exactly what they said. And by the way, not only am I treating myself to this, but I like miraculously, not miraculously, what an, what an exaggeration, but I, found this shawl in my closet and it made me so happy to discover this like wow I forgot I put this here I couldn't see it because it was like smushed in between clothes and if you guys know me you know I love a caftan and I love a shawl I just feel so protected in this like my safety blanket but it's fashion also I love it <laughs> uh, Landon Barker said, responding to somebody that was defending their mother, if you weren't such a blank blank, you would realize our mom has never been in our lives and isn't there for us like our dad is. Shayna responded, saying that her children have been completely, this is a quote, they have been completely manipulated. I've been there for them their entire lives, even when their dad was a raging black blank addict and was sent home from tour. My son is caught up in money and fame and I will not bend. I will wait and be patient till they see the truth. I've fought over 10 years and I'm done. This is all orchestrated. Okay. Well, things then escalated and um, Alabama, the daughter, shared some DMs with her mom and I don't understand why, but in these DMs, Shayna alleged that Travis Barker cheated on her while they were still married back in the day, not with Kourtney Kardashian, but with Kim Kardashian. 
the, the children also make allegations that um, the boyfriend that Shayna has is emotionally, is, is abusive and blah, 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 blah. Shayna went on to say, I left Travis because he was emotionally abusive. I left the money and mansions for a reason. Family is all that matters, but I can't compete with kids whose father doesn't encourage relationships with their own mother and purposefully tries to alienate them away. Travis controls Bama's social media. However, I get blamed for her sexualization. How does a father allow her to act like that and do lives at 4 a.m. with men twice her age? Good point. I'm glad she brought it up. She goes on to say, I've been legally bullied out. I'm fed up and I'm exhausted. Social media and the media isn't real. I divorced Travis because I caught him having an affair with Kim. Now he's in love with her sister. It's all gross. I'm not the bad guy. Well, Alabama responded to that saying, everybody thinks my mother is amazing. Matthew is nothing but awful to her and cheats on her. My mom has never completely been in my life. Can you guys stop painting her out to be an amazing mom? Did your mom ask to see you on Mother's Day? Cause mine didn't. I'm done keeping it a secret. Reality shows. And then she also claims that she does handle her own social media. Alabama, who's 15. Because I think you have to be just 13 to be on Instagram. Whew, child. I, I'm glad that I don't have, I was saying this in therapy the other day or to my friend or whomever, I don't know, or maybe repeating myself on some subconscious level, I think I wanted to have kids on my own because sadly I never thought, well, even if I did think that I met the man of my dreams, statistics are statistics. And most, the overwhelming majority, not the overwhelming majority, but the majority, more than 50% of marriages end in divorce. And I love my kids too much to have them go from one house to another house to that parent is raising the kids this way. This one's raising the kids that way. I'm a control freak and I, you only get one chance at raising your kids. And I'm not a perfect dad. I work too hard, but I am a great dad. And I'm setting my kids up for success. They are smart, they're hardworking, they have interests, they're respectful, they listen, they're not perfect, they're still learning, but, you know, I don't know. This whole situation is just so public and messy and what good does it do? I mean, I reveal a lot about my family dynamics and issues, but I don't reveal everything, okay? There are some things that I do keep private, um, as I should. You know, I reveal a lot without revealing everything and without going into details. And there are just some things that I've never even touched upon at all. Maybe in the future, when my children are adults, We'll talk about things, but I wish them all well. And it's, it's their mom. Your mom is not perfect, but she's your mom. God, it's like giving me deja vu of like the whole Claudia Conway situation with her parents, but not as toxic yet. However, I have a feeling this story is going to have legs, as they say. All right, over the weekend, well, last week, the CDC 
revealed that if you are a fully vaxxed person, that you don't need to be wearing masks or face coverings. And a lot of businesses said that they're going to drop their mask mandate. Among those businesses were Trader Joe's and Costco. Well, Ricky Schroeder, remember Ricky Schroeder or Rick Schroeder from Silver Spoon? Or is it Silver Spoons? I think Silver Spoon. The 80s sitcom, the former child star, the actor. He got real upset and started filming when he was denied entry to a Costco because he didn't want to wear a face mask. Now listen, I don't want to wear my face mask anymore. I am fully vaxxed. I'm not worried about my kids. I'm not. I'm not worried about my mom. I'm not. My mom is fully vaxxed. I'm not worried about my kids because 99.99% of all, I mean, they might get it and fine. They'll get a little bit sick if they get it. Hopefully they don't get it, but 99.9% of all deaths related to this awful thing have been with adults. And most of those older adults and with pre-existing conditions. And children who do get sick, mo almost all of them don't have to be hospitalized for it. So I'm going to, as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to return to normal and I will be getting my kids vaccinated as soon as they're eligible to, you know, I want to, I want to increase their likelihood of not getting sick. Um, but I think we're just at a point now where if you don't want to wear your mask, don't wear your mask, but don't cause a stink. If you do want to wear your mask, wear your mask. And I won't judge either of you. Who cares at this point? Like, do your thing, but you don't need to make a big deal about it. You don't, you don't need to harass the poor guy at Costco because, he, yes, Costco general like nationwide has this new rule, but apparently they still have to listen to the local ordinances and the local directive here in, in Southern California is you still got to wear a mask when shopping at these places. There might be changes coming in a month, like June 15th, but for now, that's what's going on. I'm just so happy. Like, I'm not happy, happy. It's actually been a rough week. I'll talk about that in my therapy video tomorrow. But I'm happy at least that like, I don't know, like things are open and we're not like all just stuck at home. Although I wouldn't have been stuck at home anymore. Like I would have just continued to do more nature things and all that jazz. Anyways, some TV news. The Friends reunion is being put on blast because there are 30 guest stars and not a single black person is going to be a guest star on the Friends reunion, which is a show about six white people. David Beckham is a guest star. Justin Bieber is a guest star. BTS. 30 guest stars and not a single black actor or celeb fan, celebrity, whatever. Not even Aisha Tyler, who was on Friends and is black. Like a show about six white people. I mean, oh, it, it clearly shows that the people that produce the special are probably also a lot of white people because like Whatevs. Anyways, they're coming for me. Ah! I'm curious to hear your, th your thoughts on this. Joe Exotic has been trying every possible way to get released from jail. 
the, the star of Tiger King is 58 years old. He's currently serving a 22 year prison sentence. And unless I'm wrong, he's serving a prison sentence for murder, right? Let me see, Joe Exotic. I wanna make sure. He is serving music, who cares? Politics, okay, arrest, okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, murder his, yeah, attempted murder. All right. Wow. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. So yeah, he's, and then other, other awful things that he did as well. So this guy is like a hardcore criminal. Like he did a lot of illegal and shady things. And because the Tiger King show on Netflix was so successful, he keeps hoping and wanting and praying that that'll get him a get out of jail free card. But Donald Trump said no, and thus far, Joe Biden is um, not biting either. So now Joe Exotic said, not his real name, by the way, Joe Exotic says that he has prostate cancer. He just found out that he has allegedly pr prostate cancer um, and is waiting to, to hear more. Uh, his, he said that his lawyer received my medical records and my PSA count came back very high for prostate cancer. The prison has approved testing to verify what stage it is in. My body is tired. I have lost a tremendous amount of weight. The mouth sores are out of control. I throw up more than I eat. 22 years in jail, like that's not like nothing. And what he's accused, what he's been convicted of are like hardcore serious crimes. First of all, even if you have like, let me see, pink prostate. Now pancreatic cancer is way bad, but prostate cancer, from what I know, it's like one of the better kinds of cancer to have. Like it's, the, it's, it's very common and um, it's very treatable. Um, yeah, look at this. In, in most men, prostate cancer isn't likely to kill them before something else does. But since prostate cancer still kills so many men, it's important to find out which men are most at risk, blah, 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 blah. Uh, how's the survival rate? The five-year survival rate for people with prostate cancer is 98%. The 10 year survival rate is also 98%. Most prostate cancers are found when the disease is only in the prostate and nearby organs. This is referred to as the local or regional stage, whatever. I know somebody that had prostate cancer for a very long time and lived a very long time. So I don't know, I don't think that, ooh, you've got cancer it should be like your get out of free jail card but what do you guys think let me know what you think i mean obviously he should still receive treatment and it's the duty of the government to care for him um but i don't i don't know if he should get early release for that i think uh i don't know i don't know how the whole thing works like is there a prison hospital um i don't know how that would work but what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. And finally, a couple of couple items. Katie Holmes it has been confirmed and her restaurateur boyfriend, Emilio Vitolo Jr. are over. <coughs> they dated for about a year. Wah, wah. I never saw those lasting. It was kind of like when Ben Affleck was dating Ana de Armas, they were so public, so hot and so heavy. Like, I, I, didn't, I just didn't see it lasting. On the flip side, 
a couple that was very discreet, Trevor Noah and Minka Kelly, the Daily Show host and the actress, were a pandemic couple. But that pandemic romance has ended. <laughs> and so has this video. A note. I'm going to be posting less of these this week. Definitely today you're watching this. And hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully. Not sure about Wednesday, but definitely, definitely not. Well, maybe I'll post Thursday or Friday. Who knows? The goal is to not post daily recaps as often this week. And, um, yeah. If you enjoyed this, thank you. Appreciate you. And thank you to everybody who follows me across social media, who subscribes to my family channel on YouTube. Um, thank you to anybody who may have super chatted me. Listen to my podcast. It will be out later today or right now, depending on when you're watching this. The Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or directly at PerezPodcast.com. Um, get a personalized video from me for a birthday present, a graduation gift, a Father's Day. Uh, love whatever you want. On the Cameo website, or at cameo.com slash Perez Hilton. And that's it. I'll see you when I see you. Thank you. I love you. Bye.